we are live. Um, that's kind of at a wide angle, but uh, uh, I'll we'll we'll have to work on it as long as we as long as we keep it and don't you know uh, pull the connection. <laughs> yeah, plug it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but howdy, howdy, guys. I, it, is it just me, or has this Mercury retrograde a real bear? Um, because. Oh. Yeah, let, let me share with you guys as we're all getting together here. Uh, my story for this could only be Mercury retrograde. This past weekend when we went to get the K, the, the, the Internet changed over um, as we were getting a, getting a different service. Um, well, we scheduled the technician for Saturday. He shows up and he says, oh, well, if you're getting cable too, uh, there's a box they were supposed to send you. Did you get it? And we're like, no, no, we didn't get anything in the mail. He goes and he kind of halfway looks out on the porch. I don't see anything on the porch. Well, I can't do anything without the box, so let's reschedule. So we reschedule it for Tuesday. He leaves. Then I go out and I find the box. So, uh. <laughs> so Tuesday, somebody comes over and they drill holes in the house and run cable and this, that, and the other. And now we're supposed to have super bad Mamma Jamma internet. So we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> so... We want to know if there's any hiccups with the stream. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be, you know, good good and you know fast. So, you know, we'll see. But but that uh, I looked at Darren. I was like, that could only be Mercury retrograde. So, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah, that that has to be. So yeah, uh, and you know, um, we also need to say prayers for for Yamani because uh, their vehicle broke down. And you know that too can be uh, ascribed to Mercury retrograde. And let me so, let me clarify: their vehicle is unrepairable. Yeah, yeah, it it's it's dead. It died. Um, so we need prayers, mojo, mm -hmm. and, and such to let them get a new vehicle without much pain. Right. So, uh, yeah, uh, and um, uh, uh, by the way, I love it. The knights who say Nini. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and also, uh, folks are saying that uh, 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 apparently, uh, if you try to type in names of like some brand names or whatever medicine, YouTube will censor it automatically. So, um, oh, you know, my. well, there's there's probably some standard for that, but you know, it can get really weird. Yeah, you know? no free advertising on YouTube is what it is. Uh, that that could well be. And, and, you know, I one other thing before we get started, I have to say, uh, I think I got a little bit of zen, a, a little bit of realization about our fortune from last week, because our fortune from last week said, uh, people show their character in nothing more clearly than by what they think is laughable. And I think it says something for us that when Morgan came over, we were laughing amongst friends at some of our own silly misery. Uh, <laughs> Why do you call it that way? Just because because of the pipe? Uh, no, he got to see the eclipse perfectly beautiful. Okay, yeah, yeah, on yeah. The spur of the moment, we've been planning for almost a year. Mm -hmm. What do we get? Well, you'll see what we get on the uh, uh, the, the the episode, which is live on Patreon right now. Um, so for everybody who's a you know paid member of that, you you can see it now. But that um, extra hot and sexy footage will disappear when this uh, when this stream ends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, my my rim shot Darbuka is back there, but uh, uh, no, it, it's it's going to go live for everybody else on Sunday, so you'll get to see exactly what we saw and didn't see. But in the meantime, no, um, I'll tell tales on Morgan, um, just because we can, and this one really, uh. You guys are going to have to tell me if this is like a thing or if this is just Morgan, because he's he's over here uh, and and we're, we're doing kind of a production meeting because, you know, we're working on he's working on a model of a character that I'm animating. So um, we're, we're doing that. And he pulls out a pipe as in like an old timey tobacco pipe. It's it's got the, the curve like think like Sherlock Holmes. OK. And he's pulling this thing out of a case, and the first thought that goes in my mind is, dude, you know we don't smoke in here, right? And he just puts it in his mouth and starts kind of sucking on it, I guess, with nothing in it. And he says, oh, I just started doing this, you know, and I think he said it it keeps him from messing with other things. It with keeps his... him from, you know, grinding his teeth. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because he has anxiety really bad. So, yeah, and I'm just like, Darren, Darren and I are like, 
you have a pipe and no tobacco, nothing, not, not even like bubble mix. You're just messing with it. Why? So uh, I, I after that, I, I remembered that fortune. I'm like, that's what that was about. <laughs> so uh, laughs among friends. I don't know. Yes, we have been laughing to keep from crying. We are worried <laughs> about our dear friend Morgan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Max is probably because they want to crack down on people either one giving dangerous medical advice or two illegal how to recipes. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, you guys are gonna have to tell us if that's something that that other people are doing now. If it's like some kind of hipster chic to have a pipe, or if Morgan is just doing his own version of that. So <laughs> we'll see. In the meantime, tonight we are honoring Hathor and also uh, the Eye of Ra and Bubastis, which would be Bastet. And so uh, also I have Khonsu up here because uh, the Feast of Renetet and Min and Khonsu was last week, but uh, Khonsu kind of got overshadowed a little bit. So I think he's like, okay, Dad, it's my turn now. You know, so. <laughs> you and your thing. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, so since, since it's, you know, the, the season for, um, what I've noticed is that if you look at the different holidays that are, that are, uh, from different locales, but all in this kind of time of year, you have the, uh, the harvest going on with the, the grain that had been planted back in, you know, October or so, but, uh, that's also when they're celebrating, uh, uh, child gods. And um, sometimes the, the, the mother of, you know, the divine child. And so uh, uh, it's, it's kind of like the, the rest of the, the, the triad, which can vary by location. I, I think it was more about um, having a patron deity, his wife, and then their child. And that could change. Sometimes, uh, if I remember right, in uh, Kam Umbo, Sobek and Hathor, were a couple, and Konsu was their child. So again, it could vary. Uh, and in some places, Konsu was the Taz child. Uh, this would have been around um, a, a kind of a, a variant in in Memphis. This is you know, the so. this is the reason why fire departments have that. You know, some of them had that thing about you know leave a child here, no question. Oh, a safe place. Poor Konsu, that happened to him. You take it. No, you take it. No, you take it. You're horrible, Darren. No, no, that's not it. That's not it at all. <laughs> no, it, uh. it, yeah, it probably had more to do with um, deities that were popular, and then they end up kind of becoming an item just because, you know, uh, hey, everybody. The best child. Huh? The august child. Yeah. Well, and, and keep in mind also Konsu, he's the uh, uh, he's the the waxing moon. Um, he's you know the the light in place of the sun. He is the son of the sun, you know. And so uh, uh, things you know things get melded and confused, and you know uh, there was nobody fact checking them back then. It's just whatever you, you, you just roll with it. And the day that archaeology finds they had a fire department. You're all gonna laugh. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. And Ashley Sprouse had Chinese for lunch when the cookie said you'll soon start a new romantic relationship. I wonder if tonight will have any connection. What? Who knows? Um but uh hey, baby. let's take bets on how many of us will get cat trapped in <laughs> Well um you know what? I'm just looking forward to more rain because that will discourage the cat from that's been around here from going and digging in my garden. <laughs> yeah, um, that's 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 a back and forth thing with me. And and then this this I think it's the same cat that likes to go and hop all over Megatron, my car, because I'll find sandy <laughs> little I will find sandy little cat prints on Megatron's hood. And so I, I joke that you know he's got a he's he's got a cat on the side, you know. <laughs> so, 
that is sort of like if you've ever seen the the Looney Tunes episode with the bulldog and the little kitten. Um, there's an old old Looney Tunes. I think the name of that one was Feed the Kitty. Um, that I think of that only with Megatron instead of the bulldog. So, Darren's kind of done that too before. But anyway. So now these cool waters are upon my hands. And they purify me. It's technique to purify me. And I just want to uh, sound our instruments after this. Hail unto you, you know, We come unto you without falsehood and without evil. Our purity is upon our hands. <gasps> our purity is within our oh, hearts. God. <laughs> We've cast that all evil. What's the taste to us? <laughs> we are pure. We are pure. We are pure. <laughs> so you're, I'm trying to dry you off and you're trying to avoid me. He probably wants that ammunition. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Come here, you. I love you. You're going to be wanting this later in the summer. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, mister. Cool waters can't do anything about that. <sighs> yes, and now uh, we we'll try and recenter. So I was supposed to do this part first. And by the way, another good example of uh, uh, deities that can swap parents, Mahes, uh, the lion. Um, we have his candle because there's going to be more spring weather. And so we're, you know, uh, asking him to look out for everyone that could be in the path of it. Um, he's attributed as either the son of Sekhmet or Bastet. So, um, and again, there's a parallel. He's the, the, the son of the Eye of Ra. And since either of them could carry that title, either of them could be, you know, his parents. So, no, it's, it's not like, you know, a safe place where you can drop off your kid. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's not what they do. Although... I guess you might say that's kind of what happened with Anubis. <laughs> um, yeah, he has, he has a rather unique story. Okay, I have precedence. I won. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> and that's your fault, too. Come in peace, bright eye of Horus. Come, come in peace. Receive the light. Receive the light. <laughs> the eye of Horus <laughs> shines like Ra in the twin horizons, and evil hides in fear of it. Receive the light. Receive the light. Receive the light. <laughs> The Eye of Horus destroys the enemies of Ra and all of their abodes till none remain. Receive the light. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus comes to the four corners of the world. To everyone who's tuning in with us now, 
and will be joining us in the future <laughs> and who has been with us in the past. This eye of Horus comes and we are purified with it. Receive the light. Receive the light. <sighs> Somebody's going to be tuning in later and think we are absolutely nuts. <laughs> so now we will light a candle from Mahes, son of the Eye of Ra. That he may protect everyone who's in the path of storms this spring season. And Rennie Tet, thank her for for uh, bounty of the gardens. And Sekhmet, that she may bring peace and healing to those who need it. There we go. Especially our friend Katie, who's been a uh, having a tough time with that extraction and uh, had to get medications for a dry socket. Those, oh, yeah, those, those are tough. Oh man. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. Kate. Yeah. So uh, we're just sending vibes of, you know, warm hugs and, and comfort and lots of soft, tasty foods for everybody. Yeah. So, uh, excuse me just a second. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we don't have to tune in later to think you're nuts. Gobble, gobble, gobble. What it was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And uh, Cosmic Thoughts is asking, uh, can I only worship Horus if I wanted to? Sure, if you wanted to. Um. Oh, by the way, Chai Spice Date Blondies. Oh, that sounds... Amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 We, give us a recipe. Three, please. Three, three over here, please. Yeah. Oh, the stuck set that I had made on Etsy. Oh, that's cool. But, uh, um, yes. Yeah, Didn't so, know he's full. Um, stuck set. <laughs> no, but actually, uh, you know, a, a plush set. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, But yes, you can, uh, you know, you can you can start with one, and and yeah, you you tend to end up picking up more, and um, you know we're uh, we we're we're polytheists here. Is it's not like you know uh, uh, the you know henotheism or whatever. It's it's not. It's they're they're all different personalities. They can you know combine forces. Um, and we, we talk about that sometimes, but, uh, you can have, you know, uh, any combination that feels right to you. So. And what we do here is where we follow uh, uh, the, a calendar where it, it draws from, you know, the Cairo calendar and a lot of other sources. And uh, that way, you know, um, every, everybody gets their turn, you know, and uh, some, some folks, you know, come up more often, but uh, that's because there were, you know, like, like Horus and Osiris and Isis, you know, those are pretty well known deities. And so uh, uh, everybody honored them at some point during the year. And there's there's some occasions so that that you know was pertinent for everybody. So. You arise in the Akhetas Capri, O Ra, spreading your light upon the earth. You set in peace in the mountains of Manu as a tomb, bringing your light to Duat. 
shine upon earth as you do in heaven and do what? Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who came from noon at the first time, for such is your uniqueness. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who placed who at your left side, for such are the words you commanded. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who placed Sia at your right side, for such is your great wisdom. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, whose hika goes before you, for such is your ability. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who rules with Ma'at upon your brow, for such is your righteousness. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra. Hail and praise unto you, O Hathor, O Bastet, eyes of Ra, O Khonsu, the august child. Hail and praise unto you, O Yunachiru, you lords of love and lords of life. Grant us life, well-being, and health. May our eyes perceive your goodness and our hearts receive your wisdom. May you shine upon us as you traverse the sky, that we may bring to you Ma'at and cast out his fet. And may you guard us from the evil one through the dark hours of the night, your protection being before us and your strength being within us. Take these, your cool waters, which are the inundation, that they may cool your hearts. O Hathor, Abastet, Honsu, Oyanachuru. These waters are the eye of Horus, that your hearts may be refreshed. Milk, milk, may you taste it in your shrine. May your hearts be refreshed with it. We bring you this milk from the great flood, Ayanachiri, that you may be purified with it. We give you incense. We give you incense, great of purity. This incense is the eye of Horus. Its fragrance comes to you, it cleanses you, it adorns you, it takes its place upon your hands. Oh, yeah, not true. We give to you this eye of Horus, and its fragrance comes to you. Take this, your bread on which gods live. This bread is the eye of horror, so you know, Trudy. Lift it to your faces and be at peace with it. <coughs> <coughs> we have the first blackberries of the season. And uh, I know my, my folks up in the Pacific Northwest are probably going, wait, blackberries already? Well, way down here, yeah, the, they're, they're already starting to ripen. Um, just beginning to. I got the first handful today. And uh, the donuts are a... Uh, a local specialty called Southern Made, and there are no donuts like them. Um, Krispy Kreme has nothing on these guys. Yep. And, Don't uh, forget it. Um, it is my hope that when one day we can all get together and we can all have some Southern Made donuts uh, <coughs> after a ritual. So, because uh, <coughs> one of the things I remember from being. A kid and, and uh, you know, wishing I could fall asleep and yet somehow not able to fall asleep in, in mass and then, you know, being kind of dragged out afterwards. And then they had like a big, the, the rectory, they had a big plate full of, uh, of Southern made donuts. Somebody always went and got them and they were selling them and I was never able to get any. So most of the time I wasn't. But, but one day we'll all be able to have some Southern made donuts. Here you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, the 
gardens prosper and happy rejoices, overflowing with his meal. We fill the eye of Horus for you with wine, O Ra, Hathor, Rastat, O Konsu, O Yunachuru. Drink and be pure. The doors of heaven and the doors of earth are open with libations for you within this house. May your faces be refreshed with your libations, your wine <coughs> and your water. Pure, pure is Ra Horiketi within his house. Pure, pure is Hathor within her house. <coughs> Bastet, mistress of Bubastis within her house. Konsu within his house. Pure, the cause of all of these gods, this good myrrh that is given. Jehuti proclaims it. It is written in his house of sacred words. Hathi gives in abundance thousands of offerings, all things good and pure. For Rahoraketi, for Hathor, for Bastet, for Ponsu, in every place that their immortal cause dwell. Come to your body, O Rahoraketi. Come to your body, O Hathor, O Bastet, O Ponsu. Come to your bodies, O Yunachuru, and come to your invocation. Come unto us, your servants, who are mindful of your feasts and your offerings. Bring your power, your hika, your honor, and your ba to these, your offerings, and partake of them. Come, O people, raise these offerings before the faces of these gods. Lift the offerings before Ra, before Hathor, Bastet, for Konsu. All life comes from them. All health comes from them. All stability comes from them. All good fortune comes from them as it has since the first time. There we go. O Rahorketi, and your son, the Osir Nisu Nebkeru Ra, your foes retreat from you. Horus turns himself to his eye. Turn yourselves to these, your offerings, and receive them from our hands. And now, from the table of the gods to the table of the blessed dead, we light this candle that it may be the eye of Horus that lights their way in Duat. And we pour these cool waters from the table of Osiris that their hearts may be refreshed. For a keru ta henket ka kao afdu sanachinamurha Quit nibet no fra wabet al ket no shorim, and how in a kuku nibu, ma kere nibu hira natura. A voice offering of bread and beer, a thousand of beef and fowl, incense, oils, and all good and pure things on which a god lives, for the cause of all of these blessed dead, 
all true of voice before the great God. Oh, and uh, I got a request for um, prayers for the uh, folks that uh, had uh, went down on the Titanic because that the anniversary of that is, uh, I think, this weekend, um, 112 years ago. Um, yeah, it is. As yeah. a matter of fact, I think it was the 17th. Mm, okay. Um, I'm... The, the only part of the date that I remember about that is uh, uh, my great-grandmother was born the same year. Yeah. So, um, uh, which kind of gives you an idea how old I am. <laughs> but, but no. Um, uh, and and uh, I guess the sense I mentioned, maman. Um, a lot of people have a mamma, but I had a maman. That was what we called her. And uh, love her too. Miss her. Mm hmm. Because I got to meet her. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What a handful. <laughs> now I know why you are the way you are. Oh, well. <laughs> it shows through all of you. <laughs> yeah, she, she, was, she was feisty, and, and you know, you had to, had to love her. <laughs> And now we come unto you, O Ra, as Jehuti comes, our hands joined under Ma'at. Ma'at has come to be with you in every place where you are. An offering of Ma'at is made unto you, that your heart may be pleased and your ka shall live. Truly, your Enid has Ma'at, for they know you live in her. The Enid says unto you, your word is law eternally. As fat is cast out by your word, rejoicing is yours every day. Ma'at has taken her place in your shrine. And may we always act with gentility and compassion, such as the first Ma'at. May we always offer charity and hospitality, such as the second Ma'at. May we always respect consent and fidelity, such as the third Ma'at. May we always avoid violence and promote wellness, such as the fourth Ma'at. May we always speak words of truth, such as the fifth Ma'at. May we always promote the public good, such as the sixth Ma'at. May we always act humbly and with temperance, such as the seventh Ma'at. May we always honor our gods and respect others, such as the eighth Ma'at. May we uphold Ma'at like Jehuti, that we may witness Ra's perfection every day. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to try and scroll back a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay, prayer request. Please pray for us to be able to get together in real life. Us being comedic performers. Yes, absolutely. Um yeah, okay. Uh, it's uh, Y'all are suggesting either uh, a Whip Run Pet or Koyak or another big one like that. Um, oh, Spicy Phoenix, your birthday is July 18th. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, Happy birthday early. Uh, yeah, well, you know. Uh, and and uh, I have a <clears throat> an old uh, 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 acquaintance, I guess, you know, friend from, uh, we're friends on Facebook. Back from the Transformers days, uh, his, you know, the fandom, um, like the G1 fandom, it's it's kind of expanded since then. But, you know, his his birthday is also July 18th. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I can remember when your birthday is. You know, it's kind of a significant day for me. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, and, and I do want to do that. Uh, and and uh, I have plans. It's just uh, I want to get the incorporation taken care of so that 
uh, we can make sure that we have liability and all the other coverage yeah. and stuff like that so that we're not, you know. Didn't we also meet Peter Cohen on July 18th? We first met him the next day. It was July 19th. July 19th. 1997. Is, isn't that today? What, 19, What's July, the date today? Oh, today's the 19th, yes, of April. So, but... In three, yeah, three months, yeah, but anyway. We're three months shy of... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, um, it's it's been a minute. Yeah. Okay. But yes, uh, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to read some uh, some things for Konsu and for Bast and for Hathor. And uh, then, of course, we'll do our, our cookies. And, of course, you know, prayers for everyone because, uh, you know, lot, lots of lots of tough things going on. And, I, I you know, I, I, I wish I was made of money so that I could help people and so I could say, you know, we'll just, you know, we'll just buy you a new vehicle, you know, uh, Yamanu and, and uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll rent a space and, you know, everybody can come hang out and all that. But um, because we're not made of money, we have to figure out other ways to get things done. So. Um, well, if you were made of money, I wouldn't want you to spend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but uh, there's some things that it would be, you know, worth the expenditure. So, come and make merry for the golden one, good cheer for the mistress of the two lands. Come, arise. Come, that we might make for you rejoicing at twilight and music in the night. O Hathor, you are exalted in the hair of Ra, in the hair of Ra. To you is given the sky, the deep night and the stars. Great is your majesty when you are happy. Please share your love and your happiness with all of those in our family that could use it. Hail and praise unto you, Bastet, lady of love, lady of life, daughter of a tomb, firstborn of the Lord of all, greatest goddess, lady of heaven, mistress of all the gods. You open the movements of Shu, for he is your messenger. You slaughter with your arrows. You slay the evil one and seize the hearts of the wicked foes. Lady of the shrine, foremost of the sacred fields, Mistress of perfume, mistress of joy. O eye of Horus, O eye of Ra, Uraeus, whom Ra loves, protect us until the dawn. Hail, Konsu, the child, very great. Firstborn of Amun, goodly youth, sweet of love, king of all children, babe born alive, who repeats birth like the sun disk, who repeats the renewal of Ra in Thebes, babe in the morning, old man in the evening, youth who renews at the proper times, who arrives as an infant after his old age, whom Mut gave birth to in Thebes as the august child, the living one in his manifestation of Capri, Ra, after he repeated births, a tomb in the evening within the entrance of Manu. Iris of the Ujat, Horus as a young child, babe of Amun-Ra, lord of food, plentiful of sustenance, lord of offerings who gives to those he loves. And I'm going to say it's a prayer for everyone. Hear us, O Ra, great Lord of Yunu, and place your arms of blessing around all of those who are tuning in with us. Let them rejoice in your bounty and their hearts take joy in your kindness. Tell Neet and Uvod to open their ways for them. And may you protect them with your strong arm of compassion. For you are the All Lord, Lord of Ma'at, holy and splendid is your name. Kepri at dawn, a tomb at dusk, 
Ra Horaketi, as you rule the nine. Okay. And now it is time for our cookies. Now I'm going to start with the, uh, we got, uh, we're, you know, we're going to do the, the cookie for everyone. And I got two requests from uh, the, the Facebook chat and we'll pick up with everyone uh, here on the, the YouTube chat. And so uh, if somebody's got, if there's some requests from discord, you know, go ahead and put those up too. So. This first one is for everyone, including our folks who might be catching us after the fact. Okay. Hmm. Rumor is a byproduct of an untruthful conversation. Hmm. Rumor is a byproduct of an untruthful conversation. <clears throat> I guess this is a warning. Don't listen to rumors. Unless we're talking the album by uh, Fleetwood Mac. Right, but there's a great song from the 80s called Rumors by the Cheyenne Social Club. Huh. Everybody should listen to that. Okay. Yes, rumor is a byproduct of an untruthful conversation. And actually, in the original... Uh, uh, 42 declarations of innocence, which we the, the eight mods is you know sort of a condensing of that. Um, there's another one about, uh, um, you know, not gossiping and you know, not listening to rumors, you know, so that, that's something that they frowned upon, um, was you know, indulging in that sort of thing, and so, um. Don't pay attention to to rumors this week. I guess is, you know the the advice, and especially since we're hopefully coming. I think the Mer Mercury retrograde ends um, this weekend, I believe. Um, and we we're saying this one's been a real day. It's on the twenty eighth. Oh, twenty eighth. Okay. Oh, so it's through the whole month. Okay. See, I was thinking it was. Okay. So Hold yeah. Hold on, everybody. The last ten days are a doozy. Yeah. Yeah. So. So don't believe everything you hear. Okay, and so um, Jory had asked for one, and Seta had asked for one. So we'll um, say what we'll do: Seta's and then Jory's, and then we'll pick up. Okay, and we'll just have to take the pictures and send them for them. So, uh, if you don't fail now and again, it's a sign that you're playing it safe. So that set us. If you don't fail now and again, it's a sign that you're playing it safe. The other translation is, if you don't fail every now and then, you're not playing to win. Oh, you're you're also uh, you're not. Well, there's there's uh, an old saying uh, in in French. It's uh, qui risque rien n'a rien. He who risks nothing has nothing. But that was for Seta, so we'll share that with her. And uh, Jory had asked for one, so we're going to pull his next. Be brave enough to live creatively. So we'll have to share that one with him. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is uh, I'll make a note on the back of them. So that one is Seta's. And that one's Jory's. So we'll we'll share those afterwards. And who's next? Okay, I see lots of, lots of icons. Okay, so Ashley Spradley asking for one from Bast. And then Katie asking for one from... 
Bastet and from Set. And so then we've got our our uh, Discord cookies. So okay, we'll start with Ashley Spradley. A mile walk with a friend contains only a hundred steps. So, Ashley, a mile walk with a friend contains only a hundred steps. So, uh, with a friend, things don't seem so hard or to take so long. Excuse me. Okay, so, uh, uh, Katie asking for one from Set and from Bastet. Meaningful relationships bring meaning to life. Meaningful relationships bring meaning to life. So I guess pair that one with the one that you got uh, from lunch today. Um, whatever it is, make sure it's meaningful. And yes, Darren, I'm, I'm sure you're snickering because of the same reason I am. Uh, we'll have to share that story another time. Yes, definitely <laughs> another time. Yes. Okay, so our Discord cookies, starting with Alex, then Threlo, then Wolf, then Lee Roxy. Hmm. Okay. Lady Bass. <clears throat> uh -huh, yes, and, and uh, Ashley says, rumors, Fleetwood Mac, mandatory listen. Yes. So, okay, uh, so we'll start with Alex. Were, were you making a sound effect? No, okay. Scratching my ear. Okay. So for Alex, you make people realize that there exists other beauties in the world. So you make people realize that there exist other beauties in the world. Okay, so uh, Threlo. Okay. Um, Threlo, some, somebody wanted to talk to Threlo. You have 45. Uh, Three. Okay. <laughs> Threlo got some uh, some voice <clears throat> over there. So let me make sure. Just kidding, yeah, Alex and Threlo, then then Wolf. We'll get to Wolf. But let's let's go through Threlo's uh uh fortune cookie voicemail. Yeah. Okay. So for the first one, mighty forces will come to your aid. Now the second one. The universe without music would be madness. Now, the third one. Avoid taking unnecessary gambles. Hmm. Okay, so you have one here. The, mu the universe without music would be madness. Um, so, you know, don't deny yourself, you know, good yeah. art. You music. don't want things to be completely quiet either. Right. But now there's two of them here that I think, uh, are connected here. Mighty forces will come to your aid. Avoid taking unnecessary gambles. Patience. Yeah. Don't, don't take risks. You're going to get help for something. Just <clears throat> don't put yourself in a spot. 
yeah. you know, oh, thinking you're not going to have any help. You will. So the, that's a, a big giant hang in there. And so I'm going to put these three together if, uh, if, if you need me to. Uh, go back and, and uh, reread them. Just let me know. So now we're on to a wolf and then Lee Roxy. So. Okay. So that's wolves. Hold on. Went way back here. Wait. Here we go. Yeah, well, they decided to make me hunt for that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, walk with a good heart and you will run with success. So for wolf, walk with a good heart and you will run with success. Okay. <clears throat> so that was, uh, yeah, and once we the trailer, got the, the triple threat, Wolf, and then Lee Roxy, and then Sarcastic. So now we're on to Lee Roxy. Interesting. Now, this is for Lee Roxy. The Tao, as in T-A-O, as in Taoism, the Tao that can be described is not the everlasting Tao. That's really interesting. But, uh, yes, the, the Tao, you think of the Tao, the way, the, you know, Zen, what can be described is not the everlasting and true form of it. You know, that is something that is beyond words and description. So uh, Lyrox, they got uh, something rather profound there. The Tao that can be described is not the everlasting Tao. Okay, so sarcastic. Mentioned being up there in the Oregon high desert with scrub and the, uh, the junipers. That sounds really cool. Okay. Management is doing things right. Leadership is doing the right things. Whoa. So sarcastic. Management is doing <laughs> things right. Leadership is doing the right things. Two words were never spoken. And also that says, you know, management is, uh, uh, you're, you're kind of concentrating on how and leadership, you're concentrating on what? Maybe, but. It's um, both, but. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me kind of scroll back a little bit. Management is the immediate picture. Leadership is the big picture. Yeah. Okay, Serana, and then B, one from Lady Best, and uh, then one I from Set. Okay. So. Uh, Thank you in advance for those of you that have given <laughs> super stickers. That helps things like the lights and the internet stay on. Mm. Um. It. It. Uh. Helps with lots of things and and uh and shoot, I wish I could, and yeah. Um big plans and like I said, I, I wanna be able to help, you know, more people, but um it's gotta start small. So we'll go Serana. Okay, 
Serana. A person's mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. A person's mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. So once you see it, you can't unsee it. Um, <laughs> but in a positive way. So, uh, you know, be, be prepared to expand with new ideas. Okay, so for B from Lady Best. Embrace this love relationship you have. Embrace this love relationship you have, B, and it could be with uh, it could be with a person, a critter, you know, just could this. even be with oneself. Yes. Embrace yeah. this relationship and this love that you have. And if you don't love yourself yet, you might want to work on that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now one eye from set, and then spicy phoenix from anyone who will come. Oh, I think you're going to get a, a handful there. <laughs> oh, and Mario says, if I could get a prayer, I've been feeling a little disheartened recently and need a spiritual pick-me-up, as well as the pick-me-ups I've been doing. Um, and Kit says, uh, Sebekek and Kit would like a cookie. Okay. We love you, Mario. Okay, well, I, I and I can completely understand it's uh, been... Uh, I'm working hard on a lot of things, and, and it is, you know, uh, uh, you get to a point where it's, you get tired, and, and it's it's hard to stay upbeat and positive, but um, hopefully we can all get a little boost of sunshine, so uh, I'm, I'm with you, Mario, but, uh, uh, yeah, so one eye, we're asking, set. Last one is out of here for us. Here we go. <clears throat> and set says the situation is changeable, yet you cannot push the river. So one eye. The situation is changeable, yet you cannot push the river. So don't try to do the impossible, but there are other things you can do to change whatever is going on. The situation is changeable, but you cannot push the river. Okay, let's slip that one in there. So. Okay, uh, spicy phoenix. And then... Or Kit Fox and of Kick Away. So I think there, I get the sense that there are lots of folks that are like, okay, sure. We're spicy Phoenix. Not too worry. And their message for you. You will become known for your generosity. So spicy Phoenix, you will become known for your generosity. Just remember that uh, uh, in order to be generous, you've got to be able to build yourself up. And then it, it, uh, it flows outward from there. So, okay, uh, so for Kit Fox and Seba Kekaway. Hugs for the little one.
we must not become complacent over any success. So for you two, we must not become complacent over any success. Failure is not fatal, but success is not permanent. It has to be maintained, learned from, and built on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Mary Wapaway from the Jackals. And then Kyle Hinojosa. So Mary Wapaway. From Anika and Wapalax. <laughs> Interesting. You also got the Tao that can be described is not the everlasting Tao. Now, um, of course, this is coming from, you know, uh, uh, an East Asian tradition, not uh, from Egyptian, but uh, they had similar ideas of things that were beyond words. What I think, uh, if you remember the tale of uh, Isis and Ra and, you know, the serpent that she created to, to get uh, Ra's secret name out of him, you know, people say, well, you know, in the text, it doesn't say what that name was. Of course not, because it's something that's beyond words. I think that's why. Um, and that's why he said, you know, uh, uh, lean close and I will give it to you because it was not something that could be expressed in words. That's that's my interpretation of that story. So, you know, and any name of Ra is not the everlasting name. Okay, and uh, that's Kyle Hinojosa, and then for Oracle. Okay, and Katie had to go and take minutes and get some sleep. Um, I love you. Yes, and Tao is spelled T-A-O. Uh, it, it looks like a... Tao, there's... There, there was a guy in the local pagan circle that called it Tao, and was uh, talking about the book, The Tao of Pooh, and I'm like... That's the Tao of Pooh, you nitwit. But um, that's neither here nor there. But yes, Tao is spelled T A O. Oh, so <laughs> Kylie knows that, and then Oracle. And I, my stuff keeps catching that. Let me just set it right there. Kyle Hinojosa. A mile walk with a friend contains only a hundred steps. Time, time to reach out to a friend. Um, I'm getting a sense that there's some kind of like a a trip or something that you need to do, grab a friend to, to go with you on it, uh, wh whatever this endeavor is. But a mile walk with a friend contains only 100 steps. So uh, Kyle Hinojosa, that, that advice goes for you too. Um, and then Oracle. Ori, you got two. I guess you got a little bit of voicemail too. All right, first one. Balance life with a little sweet and sour. Hmm. Balance life with a little sweet and sour. So don't go for just the sour. Uh, but there's another one here. Let's see if that balances it out further. The two hardest things to handle in life are failure and success. So, Ori, balance life with a little sweet and sour. The two hardest things to handle in life are failure and success. So they, they are urging you to uh, 
um, be aware of yourself and have some balance because, uh, yes, we all know failure is hard, you know, this, and, and the, the, the sour things like, but, but also learning to manage the good things and success and all that, that, that's, um, that, that takes some, uh, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? And, and Darren, I know you and I have been in that position. Um, a little bit of restraint, a little bit of, uh, being strategic. It takes some restraint, but it also takes um, forced patience because you do have to step back and go, before I do all the yeehaw I want to do, mm -hmm. let me see what consequences yeehaw may have. And and what things might be uh, might need to be a priority that I don't think are a priority right now. But really, it's like you, you've got the opportunity to take care of this while you right. can. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, I <laughs> squeeze her love. That's cute. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay, and Beast is about my, my cookie from last week. What a fortune. OMG, the rest of my week was kind of amazing, so that's how it panned out. That's cool. All right. Well, hey, if, uh, if anybody's got any other requests, we've got a few more cookies. It's about... Uh, an hour and six minutes in. Let's last call for wisdom, y'all. Let's get it done. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, if if we if we wrap up and somebody's like, "Oh, hey, I need a fortune," we'll still do that. That's not a problem. But uh, just try to keep keep the ball rolling. So um, I'm just gonna set our basket right here, and. Uh, And uh, next week, we will be honoring the uh, beautiful Feast of the Valley, which was a, uh, a Theban festival, of course, but Hathor will be a, a major presence with that because that is where uh, Amun would travel across the, the river to the, the sacred. Uh, originally, it was a, a grotto, a cave or something that was sacred to Hathor, but that's where Hatshepsut built the big temple of Deir al-Bakri and... Uh, uh, there was actually it was right next to another temple that had been built in the Middle Kingdom, and so all of that was built up over at uh, a spot in in the, the the cliffs in you know not far from the Valley of the Kings, and that little space was sacred to Hathor as Mistress of the West, and so uh, it's the the third uh, festival of the dead on the Kemetic calendar, but. It's more of an upbeat one than you know the uh, uh, the first two because the first one is in August. That's the the Wagi feast for Osiris, sort of like a the a Jubilee feast for Osiris. Then of course you have the Osiris mysteries, the Koyach. Um, but this one is uh, you know more of a, a happy feast where where people would you know go and and uh, commute you know spend time um, at the the family grave sites and would drink and would celebrate and and that was a way of being closer to their loved ones so so that's what we'll be doing next month or, or, or next week to kind of wrap up this month but. oh wait do i see a cookie uh oh okay um okay so fan yeah fan star i'll take a cookie tonight all righty uh and uh, okay, and also Mario would ask for one. Okay, so let's go. Well, we already that. got one for Mario, didn't we? No, uh, we didn't. no, we didn't. We, well, he had a prayer request, but also yeah. wanted a cookie. So okay. uh, for Mario and then Fane Star. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and let's do those real quick, and then we'll we'll finish up. So Mario. So Mario, mines are like parachutes. They only function when they are open. 
Now I'm getting a sense that this may be for you. It may be uh, re referring to other people that you're having to deal with, perhaps. Um, but either way, it's it's uh, good to, you know, it applies to everyone. Minds are like parachutes. They only function when they are open. Now, for Fame Star. Oh, wow. You got <laughs> Asking You Shall Receive. You got two. So hang on. Let me get that one. Oh, And actually, uh, somebody was asking, it sounds like a jazz funeral. Um, not quite, because those kind of, uh, the actual jazz funerals in New Orleans are kind of, they, they still were kind of like somber, I guess, in the way they would, I don't know. Kind of sort of, but, not really. But now, uh, I think a, a closer parallel for what we're describing, like with the, uh, the, the Feast of the Valley, um, somebody was telling me that, um, Actually, it was uh, Buzz pointed out that used to in, and, and I think they, they still do it, but they're trying to crack down on it, in uh, some part of like uh, Hong Kong uh, or, you know, somewhere in, in that region that they, they would, they used to do funerals where they would, they would hire strippers and there would be music and crazy stuff like that because they were trying to, you know, stimulate the dead um, and, you know, rejuvenate them. Uh, through uh, all of the instincts. So perhaps a little more like that. But okay, so uh, Fane Star. You will always be prepared for the future, but never forget what you've learned in the past. You will always be prepared for the future, but never forget what you've learned in the past. Now that's one. You've got another one. So I think somebody was waiting to give you a couple of messages. Self-respect is the root of discipline. Wow. Fane star. You will always be prepared for the future, but never forget what you've learned in the past. Self-respect is the root of discipline. I'm getting an overwhelming sense that this has to do with somebody and this, their message to remember what's happened before and, uh, don't let them keep using you. Right. They love you very much. Otherwise, they wouldn't be telling you this. Being the, the, well, the, the gods are telling yes. you this. They're telling you, you know, remember, never forget what you've learned in the past. Self-respect is the root of discipline. Right. The gods love you very much. Otherwise, they wouldn't be speaking to you with such language. Yeah. So, uh. So there you go. I think, I, think uh, I, I really get a sense that it's, uh, they're glad you asked, you know, and, and since, since you did ask here, so, yeah, and if anybody's got any more, just, just go ahead and uh, uh, toss one of those little icons up there. Hail unto you, Atum. Hail unto you, Capri. You come into being upon the primeval hill. You shine forth upon the shrine of the phoenix in you new. You breathe out Shu and Tefnut. May the giving of these offerings endure. As the name of Atum, foremost of the great Enid, endures. May they endure as the name of Shu, Lord of Upper Menset in you new, endures. As the name of Tefnut, Mistress of Lower Men's Set in you knew, endures. As the name of Geb at the Earth's Ba endures. As the name of Newt in the Shrine of Shanit in you knew, endures. As the name of Osir, Kentiamentiu endures. As the name of Aset in Necheru endures. As the name of Sutak in Nubet endures. As the name of Horus in Pei endures. As the name of Wajit in Dep endures. 
as the name of Chihutian, Kamenyu, endures. As the name of Ra in the Akhet endures likewise for eternity. You have come in peace, O Ra. You have come in peace, O Hathor, O Bastet, Konsu. You have come in peace, O Yenachuru. May you go forth in peace, Ra, Hathor, Bastet, Konsu. May you go forth in peace, O Yenachuru. To every place that your immortal cause wish to be. May you sail in joy in the Manjet bark and rest content in the Sektet bark. And may you smile upon us, your humble servants. Oh, yes, and I know there was that the prayer request that we can have a, a, a an IRL meetup. And uh, I, I um, include that, and of course. That's that's gonna happen one day. It's not a question of if, just when, and and uh, uh, by what means do we get it uh, get it rolling? And so uh, we ask the gods to to smile upon that effort and uh, to give us help and guidance uh, where we need it, and everyone the the means to be able to get together and to celebrate, enjoy one day, and to be able to trade hugs and smiles and stories and get to see each other face to face so okay and uh all righty okay guys well uh if anybody's you know got anything else they want to toss out there before we uh uh call it a night yeah, and, and uh, I'm going to have to try and get the... the uh, unless you guys like having it with the wide angle where you can kind of see everything, um, you'll just have to tell me what, you know, what works better. But... Uh, thank you, as always, for joining us. Everybody have a great weekend. Yeah. Everybody have a nice evening. Yes, and uh, join us next week. Same cat time, same cat channel. <laughs> we love you guys. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay, so the light angle's good. All right. Cool. Thank you guys so much, and uh, thank you for all the likes and for tuning in, and uh, see you guys next week. And and don't forget, uh, uh, if you're not on Patreon, uh, then you know you'll get to see the the new episode on Sunday. But yeah. see you guys soon. <laughs>